Miami-Dade College's Wolfson Archives contains footage featuring the life and career highlights of many notable people from South Florida. One such person with a life trajectory beginning in the backwoods of early Miami and culminating at the highest levels of American government is Janet Reno. My grandfather was a lawyer. Reno sees the law as a kind of sacred calling. In this interview two years ago, she recalled some advice from her grandmother. And she taught me that there was something almost magical and wonderful about the law. Ms. Reno was born and raised in Miami on a wooded ranch near what is now the Kendall campus of Miami-Dade College. After leaving to attend Cornell University and Harvard Law School, she returned to Miami where she started her career at private law firms. Her first foray into government was as a staff member for the Judiciary Committee of the Florida House of Representatives. She then worked for the Dade County State Attorney's Office before returning to private practice. The people won this campaign. She was elected to the Office of State Attorney five times and was the first woman to serve as a state attorney in Florida. We have filed charges today against five officers of the Public Safety Department as a result of the tragic killing of Mr. Arthur McDuffie. Ms. Reno led the office during some of Miami's most tumultuous years, including the Mario Boatlift, the Liberty City Riots, and the Cocaine Cowboys era. President Bill Clinton appointed her Attorney General in 1993, a position she held until Clinton left office in 2001. Her role in the federal government ultimately reestablished her connection with South Florida during the Elian Gonzalez affair. She mounted an unsuccessful run for governor of Florida and succumbed to Parkinson's disease in 2016. Her family home in Kendall still stands and was donated to Miami-Dade College by her family with plans for it to become part of Kendall campus's environmental center. To search the Wolfson Archives collections, please visit www.wolfsonarchives.org